the true story of a lost peacock who ended up on a ranch in Ontario leading a pack of wild turkeys inspired the children's book Strum and the Wild Turkeys. And author Noah Daniel joins us with more on the story. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me in that. So this is all a story about inclusivity, isn't it? it it's like even if you look a little bit different, everybody belongs. Everybody belongs, and there's a difference between belonging and fitting in. When you belong, you get to be you. And finding out who you are and being able to be yourself is one of the greatest goals for life, no matter what age. Right, and that's what the peacock gets to do in this book, correct? Yes, his name is Strum. All right, and, and you also include music in this children's book, which is really important for kids as they learn to read, isn't it? Well, I think music is one of the great universal languages, so it's important for everybody. And it's one of those things that really helps you get to be yourself, to spread your wings. And all these characters really reflect the kind of music that they play. It was the common thread that really brought the story together when I was doing some research on peacocks and wild turkeys, because besides being birds, what else did they have in common? I realized that music was that common thread. Peacocks not only make vocalizations, but they also make a sound with their plume. And turkeys make distinct sounds called cut, gobble, kiki, and yelp. And that is the name of the band. So every <laughs> Love it. <laughs> connection. Now, the illustrations are so beautiful. You have to do a shout out to your illustrator. Who is it? Well, Alana McCarthy, she is an uh, she's an artist, and we were so privileged to work with her. Not only did she bring the characters alive, but there is so much verve in how she stylizes them, how she brought out their, not just their personalities, but the emotions. And one of the best parts is, because this is really a book for everybody at every stage. It's a book that grows with your family. And you can start with a picture walk of her fantastically vibrant um, illustrations, just to get to know what the story is about. And kids respond really to the expressions that she was able to create through each of the characters. Right, between you and her, it's a great example of the teamwork that's also involved in this story. Well, it was one of the great privileges of Avi and Barry hiring me originally to do this story, and then we had the freedom to choose an illustrator and all agreed that Alana was the one to go with. And before we signed with Edge and Match, we had already started collaborating. And Alana asked me questions about the character, their backstory, and we were really able to co-create. And that was a very special part of our relationship. I love working with this whole team. Right, and Avi and Barry are, are the two brothers whose who's ranch this <laughs> strum just kind of <laughs> walked onto, right? <laughs> and the story happened because their peacock escaped its enclosure, and a year later it shows up on a trail cam looking like it's leading a pack of wild turkeys. So they had the presence of mind to say, this is a story, and I'm so glad that they asked me to write it. Right, we've got about 40 seconds, but this story is also giving back because donations are going towards First Book Canada. Yeah, what a wonderful organization. They really support students, children, getting access to new books. And you know, the essential role that literacy plays in in education and also giving students opportunities, children opportunities wherever they are. So what we love, what's, what First Book is doing, we're really excited to be partnering with them and hopefully I'll get to do some volunteer work for them too. Okay, I great. Thank you very much, Noah. Strum and the Wild Turkeys is out now and we'll get details up on our website, chch.com, on how to get it. Nice to talk to you. Have a great day.